Harry, I have something. Something came for you. Throw it on the rope. What is it? What is it? It's a map. Wait, what does it say? The hunt? The hunt. Oh, it's a treasure map. You guys ready? The go to the forest. You just saw it, Peter. Go, go, go. Map in hand, our family of adventurers follow the clues in hopes of finding the treasure that lies hidden at the end. Fearless adventurers searched high and low. No obstacle too daring, too scary could stand in their way on their quest to find the hidden treasure. The end. The cave. The cave? Let's go. Lead the way. Have you got some pity? Nothing in there. Roger Bridge. Fearless explorers traverse the wobbly and dangerous, yet surprisingly well-built sturdy bridge in hopes to get to the other side and continue their quest to find the forbidden cave. We're entering the forgotten cave. There it is. The treasure is said to be protected by an ancient trap. So one must bring the equal weight of the treasure and make the exchange or else the trap will be sprung and they will be trapped in the cave forever. All right, got it. Ready? We'll need this. Oh no. Give me the Oh, oh no! Run! Whoa! Run! Ah! Ah! Who does 
doesn't love a good treasure hunt, especially when the treasure at the end is something so exciting? Now I know today's Easter and you're all excited to go out on hunt for eggs and discover all the tasty treats hidden inside. But before we do that, I wanted to tell you all about a treasure that's far greater than any chocolate bunny and even more precious than gold. This story is found in the Bible. Now we just celebrated Palm Sunday, Jesus' triumphant entry into the town where they waved palm branches and laid them down and he rode in on a colt. Then on Friday, we remembered Jesus' incredible sacrifice, being crucified on the cross for us. And now three days later, we get to celebrate Easter, the resurrection of Jesus. Now Jesus is no longer dead, but he is alive. That's great news. And I wanted to remind us all today that sure, candy's great, but the real treasure I hope each one of you discover is Jesus. A great scripture that I think perfectly summarizes the why behind Easter is John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So if you too want to discover the greatest treasure in the world, don't look in the grave because it's empty. Jesus has risen. You simply have to believe in him and ask him into your life. Now I hope you enjoyed this message and have a very happy Easter. Okay, you gotta eat yours. Yeah, I don't want to eat mine. I know, you gotta be careful. Get it. What am I saying? Good job. Uh huh? Try to taste. It tastes different. Mm.